them believed me. There'll be an extra <sighs> fee for that. I'll... I'll think about it. Um... Can we play Finger next time? Okay... Today I'm gonna try to do a few quests I pass by. And I'll try to go for shorter ones, but I honestly don't know how long. Sorry, don't know how long they would actually be. Uh, there is somebody here on the water. Oh, would that take me up there? Oh, there was a ship here. Box I just lit up. Why is that? Because they're envious of my physical constitution. I'll be able to play. Then there's not enough time to read. Okay, what's going on here? Was I supposed to kill the octopus right? before? Um, uh, Nadia, I think we have met her, haven't we? I see more octopuses' eyes brighten up when they see your physique. But why then would you join the fleet? Revile. Um, because rumor has it that sailors make big bucks, but I'll bring it'll bring a much more stable income than what we're doing, trying to find some secret treasure. Hey there, what are you doing here? Or was no physical training to join the fleet? Joining the fleet earns big bucks. Uh, I thought I told you to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry, I forgot again. Hello strangers, uh, Irvile is struck by a very important work. Which is confidential, by the way, so please leave us alone and keep your questions to yourself. Uh, but we... Sorry, she suffered cranial damage previously, and she's kept on forgetting things since. What she says is not very coherent. Right, Nadia? Head back to shore with them and rest a bit at the rusty rudder. What about you? You don't look so good. Have you been... Is That's not the case. Training is tough. Irvile has to complete all the training courses in order to join the Fontaine fleet. Uh, you know me so well, Nadia. Now hurry up and go. Good luck with your training then. We're off. Start to have, trying to act tough when you don't even have an hour left. Uh, that's right. Asking help from passerby adventurers when you're in trouble is not something to be ashamed of. I told you I'm fine. Don't believe me? How about I do some push-ups right now? When it stops moving, you flip the wooden planks. You then say, Irvine, who fell in the water and return to the short night before setting down for a break at the rusty rudder. Uh, I didn't ask you to save me. How nosy. I'll just tell you up from now. I have no more for you. Why are you scolding me after I helped you? I don't expect anything in return for helping someone out. Uh, after all, our motto is we can sit idly by. It is. Where are we? I don't think I've been in this corner here. Uh, that's too good to be true. I don't believe that in kindness with our agendas. I would have believed you more if I was some lovely damsel you come to save. But the fact is, I look like an odd flavor candy without any wrapping from the city's candy store. No one would take a second look, let alone pick me up. If you didn't save me for the Mora, then you must be up to something more sinister. 
Oh, this guy's head is so twisted. Paimon doesn't care if you believe us or not. We've always been bleeding hearts anyway. Uh, we didn't do it for you more, but you at least owe us a thank you. Thank you, strangers, for helping our file. I wanted to help, but I never could be of any help. I'm just useless like that. You could swing, couldn't you push the planks here? Uh, don't say that about yourself, Nadia. Uh, we forgot to introduce ourselves. Paimon's name is Paimon, and this is Ignus. Uh, darn it. You want me to remember who I owe my life to, don't you? Thank you, Ignus, but even if you tell me your names, I forget them soon enough. Hmm? I told you, she suffered cranial damage and she often forgets things. Don't judge her by how she's now. She used to be an elite at the Marshall's Phantom, you know? But if it weren't for how she's now, she wouldn't have gotten mixed up with someone like me. Yes, Rafa saved me when I was severely wounded, but I didn't have any more to give him, so I wanted to repay him by helping him. But I often forget things and can't remember if I ever been of help. Don't worry, you've helped me out a lot. There are many things I would never have achieved otherwise alone by myself. That's so, I must have forgotten it. But I'm happy to hear that I'm not so useless after all. Uh, if you want to collect your debt from us, can you wait until your arrival is wealthy? Once we find the treasure, we'll be able to pay you back. We're not collecting in debt. The, by the way, are you so fixated on finding treasure and getting rich because you own a lot of debt? To be honest with you, it's for her treatment. You've seen yourselves how serious her forgetfulness is. She's amazing, I'm pretty sure no flesh would help her. You, just so you know, she used to be called Knowledge Bone Nadia. And she could remember everything. A full recovery is nearly impossible, but I want her to be able to return to a normal life at the very least. Even so, the medical expenses are going to be huge. I'm neither knowledgeable nor masterful, so all I can do is bet on luck. But I must say my luck on bets has been very consistent. I have never won a gamble. I thought I'd be able to find something of value inside or near the tower, but as it turned out, all I could find were shells and octopuses, and those octopuses even stole some things from us, off us. Not only did I lose my calming pouch and adventurer's gear, even the diving set I rented from pilot, Pito, Pito, has sunk into the water. Uh, I'm really out of options. You're suddenly quite a talker. Uh, that's because I'm despicable. I figured that if I say all these things, kind people like you wouldn't have the heart to ask me for things in return, right? You wish I put it on a tab? Uh, that's new, not gonna change your current predicament. Not a problem, I can dive, I can retrieve our virus coin pouch and diving set, so we can repay it our deaths and start over. Besides that, my token is missing as well. Oh, it probably also fell into the water, and I need to go search for it. But you should have said it from the beginning, a melusine token is really important, much more so than the coin pouch or diving set. Is that so? I still don't fully understand, but I get it. I was afraid to delay your training. If you can finish your training, you, you can enjoy the fountain fleet. Oh, let's not talk about joining the fleet. Are you okay diving by yourself? What if you run into those octopus robbers? Enos, why don't we go in Nadia? It doesn't feel right to leave her to dive into the water to retrieve all those things by herself. Your coin point is fine and it will be mine. No. After all, the motto is we can sit idly by. Uh, now that you're helping with retrieving the missing items, can you also try to find my other things, like my tripod? They should be in the water near where we originally set, camp, set up camp. Sure thing, no point in doing only have a favor. Well, thank you. Thank you. 
Did you forget already, Nadia? That was quick. Anyway, Paimon's name is Paimon. I got it. Now you're Paimon. Thank you, Paimon. Be safe. I'm calling on you then. Uh, Nadia's token is the most important thing, followed by my diving set. As long as I can have it, as long as I have it, I can dive. It's not to say that everything else is not important. It's just that... Oh. It's just that the coin pouch... Uh, I do want to repay you for your troubles. But it's so little that I don't think you'd care for it. Okay, what's around here? Uh... Come on, let me read that. Better paper. Wanna join? Pinky Club? Tell Shon Shono to pass the message that our books are open for him. Uh, pass on to Shodi. The oak wine barrels have a warm, da warm damage, and new batch of quarter wine is too acidic. Ask him to bring his equipment and sort out the pass pronto. I'm not drunk, can I? I can still drink. First rudder helmsman. Have to find another way. Clip. A shabby local page from the steam burns. Clips out and discarded here. Imports of Shinyu VLT are forecast to fall in the next quarter, same time that the market price of Liu tea and other products rises to more. Several lines of text are circled in the bottom right corner of the clipping, accompanied by an asterisk in three large exclamation marks. See this circle content? Lumido's Harbor Aquabus project shelved again, workers stranded in the harbor. Treatment unknown. Circle content, uh, same thing. Asterisk. Uh, recently, all senior executives in the Club di Pantaloni Nov Novita criminal organization have been arrested. The underground balance of power in Lumidos Harbor is feared broken by the Spina di Rosula. Did you see here? You dropped the clip. The second mate. I don't know if we should. Let's do this quest and then we talk to those people here. Oh, there's a bunch of people. Yeah, I, I don't even speak with people around the town. Are you, oh, you're normal. Okay. Hang on, the quest. Where is the quest? Uh. Place now, I need to find Nadia's token or equipment. equipment. Well, what does Nadia's token look like? It's a tiny cog. Uh, it's a cog this ocean. So, it's a little too. Okay, it's probably there. This should be clear. Main box was around, box here revive. Let's say that. I didn't have time to read because I'll think to act tough and try to intimidate our points. Or do I have hidden stuff such shells? Found it. That's my token. Small gear seems very ordinary indeed. Found it just like any other Kong, but I can't tell the difference. You can't hear me, Elusin. I'm not sure why, but I'm freaking the issue how. 
There's no need to apologize. Okay, in that. Let's do the tripod, nothing out of her. Okay. No way we'll be able to get it back. Should have for me to use those things. This must be heavy. Do you need a hand? It's fine, it's pretty strong. Don't need much carry. More ritual, can keep it. Ah, the coin pouch. It's completely stuffed. I'm sorry, I can't remember. I never seen coin pouch. Usually quite well fed. Okay. There's more stuff. And what's this? Sorry, I can't remember. Something lost. Let's see for now. What's that? I don't even know what we got. Beautiful tiny coach. Uh, is this the one I needed for the. Oh no, that's the one I needed for the tiny coach. Hang on, uh, I don't even know where I got that. I don't even know where I got that. Oh no, but it's different. Ah, oh, searching sacred callus. Uh, specialized storage. Consider all favorite materials and contain secret dish. Secret oranges within its cone shows that some fresh callus are finally merged. Symbolic callus from the world, oils on it. What sort of stuff? Okay, but how do I transform the other conch into that, this one? Ancient conch container can perhaps trace back to an older civilization. Okay, I thought maybe that was it. With punch, I love this a lot. Yeah, this drained. Uh, that was it. Yeah, well, how did I transform that? Uh, I think I can teleport here. Talk season here. <laughs> oh, there's more people here. Bill. A bill carelessly discarded on the bar, one corner marked with scroll corrections. Three shipments from Liu, very heavy, breaks check down. Our Liu's friends have on one foot on the bridge and they could use some help. Hmm, you know, another of those for chase. Ah, I can use this one to get free Fonta like in the institute. Um, hang on, can I get. Can I buy something here? Just go to like that. I have heard. Okay. I thought maybe this was a shop. Maybe some recipes to buy. Corporate bill with a few lines scrambled on the back. And back. The bad guy brought the news. The people of Leo want to eat alone, and his owner is not pleased. Someone has to make them wear stiff shoes. 
the boss intends to set out at sundown, summon the good guy walker, and bring even more soldiers. Not really sure what's going on here. I can keep drinking. We're back, let's count. We found Nadia's token, the tripod, the diving set, which sadly is a bit damaged. Oh, and we found your compound too. Which did you lose? A coin pouch that's full of more or one without any? Come on, stop messing around. We only found one, so let's just return it to him. The more is for Nadia's treatment, after all. Yes, it's not much, but thank, thank you for retrieving it for me. Feels heavier than before. Uh, is it because we robbed those small well, octopuses in return? Uh, my art name is was so easily defeated by you two. You are no ordinary people for sure. Art nemesis? You mean the ball octopuses? Uh, yeah, during the time that Nadia and I set up camp here, we had clashes with them every time we went diving. There was no wind inside, we were evenly matched, you could say. I made it my goal to defeat those worthy admirable opponents myself, but I didn't expect you to take them down like that. Uh, sorry, looks like I've interrupted your goal. It's okay, you can exact revisions on me instead. Yeah. Wherever I can defeat you is what matter, but you can really accept substitutes when exacting revisions. By the way, I found a piece of paper from my earlier adventures while you were down there. It's been on my person, so I, it didn't get wet. But I can't understand a word of what's written on it. Maybe an adventurer with vast knowledge like you could decipher it. I bet this thing is highly valuable. Consider it a token of my gratitude. We'll gladly accept it. We also found this beautiful conch in the sea. Irvine, please accept it. Oh, thanks. Rod takes a tiny conch and examines it. Strange. This conch resembles the one from your hometown, isn't it? No wonder you find it pretty. Uh, what's the word? Nostalgia. Does it remind you of home? Well, not exactly. I have forgotten about it before. Uh, just like everything else, but when I saw it, I remembered. I saw it somewhere else too. It's smaller than the one at Mercy Village, but bigger than this one. Uh, it's a collector's item from the for a researcher who studied many things. Like Irvile, he has vast knowledge and a lot of more. But that was from a long time ago. He left many legacies, like the underwater shelter. I remember someone saying that there was treasure hidden there. But who said it? I'm sorry, I can't remember. You are always apologizing, but it's not your fault. You don't have to apologize. That's right. You're truly incredible, Nadia. Of course, it'd be even more incredible if you could remember where this treasure field underwater shelter is. In the end, all you care about is still the treasure. Uh, do you even have a heart? I, uh, I was also about to ask if she knows the location. Oh no, when did you become a heartless adventurer? Chill. That's right. I'm despicable. Caring about treasures, how I really am. At least I'm honest. I want all the treasures, whether it's the legendary treasure or the legacy of the researcher. I want them all. I want to get rich. If I was rich, I would be able to find the best doctors for Nadia. Then she wouldn't have to live with a homeless person like me. You get rich, Irvine, and we won't have to live like this anymore. I can't remember the precise location, but I think I do have an idea where this underwater shelter is. Then what are we waiting for? Despite the damage, the diving set it still has uh, one functioning oxygen tank, which should be enough for a dive. And should we go to Pamela's curious, so curious about the treasure. Both of you should come, you help us a lot, so when we find the treasure, I'll definitely give you a share. No, two shares. Ok, 
Okay. Oh. That's what. Oh, that's what he gave me. Oh, good. So now I can complete that. Okay, let's finish this quest and then I'll go there. Mm, but I don't know what else uh, I have to do there. Because I thought the map would update a bit as I added pages. This box was from before. The chase is pushed all from them. And charge mission. Okay, so crap it is. Did you hit it? That suggests you have to move freely. Then what Shutter Knight talked about. Mm. This is the place. I remember being here before. Uh, is there really treasure here? This place doesn't feel special at all. Impressive. Do you mean this kind of place? Uh, now worth your attention based on experience and knowledge. Just like how easily you defeat my arch nemesis. Now that I've seen how you work firsthand, I'm impressed. One is quite alright, but I don't have confidence that I'll escape from a whole group of Fontemer aberrants. Thinking back, I did get surrounded by a group of ball octopuses when I was small and nearly drowned. I was fortunate that a kind-hearted Melusine saved me and took me to a luxurious room, much like the one we're staying in. You really have, do have a connection with the Melusines and with octopuses. True, the Melusines are nice to me, but I don't have much of a connection with humans. Guess that even things out. Never mind all that, let's focus on getting rich. Let's split up and see if we can find the legendary treasure. I'm sorry I can't remember what the treasure is. If only I could remember, then I'd be able to help out more. Treasure, where could it be? In a chest, in a cabinet, or tucked away in some hidden compartment? Mm, there seems to be something beneath. The little shit music. Uh, danger is red, red is speed. Just like you say, I'm too weak, drank too much water, almost. But Melusin fast, faster than red. Melusin say shiny thing on body cause big disaster. But she's nice, did not. Shiny thing is mine, not stolen, not taken, it's my own. If I am like Melusin, not scared of any danger, then they won't. Keep saying I'm useless. The script following afterwards twisted and crooked and difficult to read. What's this? The writing is barely legible, almost like a child wrote it. How strange. What it says seems oddly familiar. Could this be a coincidence? Hey, I... When looking upward, to the point where your neck cannot bend back any further, you finally manage to make out some books that look interesting, but they have nothing to do with research whatsoever. There are some yellow blank sheets of paper and numerous empty ink bottles in a drawer. No, that's not a boot. It takes you some effort to open the chest, but inside there is only dust and pottery remains of whatever the chest used to hold. 
Better not think about it. Is that a treasure? Uh, will we really find treasure here? We haven't found anything besides a strange message that looks like it was written by a child. We didn't find anything either. That strange message. Maybe a clue left behind by the researcher. You know how rich people like to do these fancy things. We we'll get the message to Revile. Oh, you're right. I can't even. It can't even be called writing. It's more like a child scribbling. Hmm? What did you, did you find anything? I found the treasure. Oh, so this thing really did hold close to the treasure. No, we couldn't tell at all. How should I put it? But the last line of the ugly handwriting says, Today's experience is a treasure to me. The melody is so nice to me. When I grow up, I want to be someone who helps others too. So this message was your... So there's no valuable treasure here. Was your... Enough, it must be laughing hard inside. I can't believe something so embarrassing came from me. The handwriting is ugly, true, but what you said was right. No worries, we have all gone through our own awkward years. No. Now that you put it this way, it really is something only a sincere and kind child would say. But what happened in the following years that turned Irvine into such an awkward grown up? By the way, if I just remember, didn't Nadia say that she heard someone say that there's treasure here? And there's only one Melusine in this story, and one that saved you, Irvile. Irvile, do you still remember the Melusine who saved you all those years ago? All Melusines look kinda the same, how could I tell? Besides, I even forgot that I've left something so embarrassing here. Then how about it? How about you, Nadia? Did you remember... Did anything here remind you of your past? I... I'm sorry, I can't remember. You still can remember? Oh, in fact, I thought there'd be super happy ending to this story. Don't know what kind of story you're expecting, but I'm definitely not, sh not some sort of protagonist. So please, stop forcing Nadia to remember things. I can't live up to your expectations, or the expectation of my younger self. For that matter, I've grown up, but not for the better. I still can help anyone. To think that I even promised to split up the treasure with the both of you. Uh, should I rip this piece of garbage up for you then? Irvine, you already saved me from certain death, and you're still trying to help me. It's just a temporary run of bad luck that you're having, and that I'm also forgetful. Even if you didn't get rich today, you still gained something. Yeah, we helped you retrieve your precious memory. Irvile, and that is the most valuable treasure. You should know that. But it's not worth anything. I can't pay your for treatment. It's okay. It's just a temporary run of bad luck. Just get a grip on yourself, Irvile. Keeping a long face like that, and even good luck will be driven away. You know, Spymon, I'm sorry for making you come out this way for nothing, but can I ask you for one more favor? Let's hear it. Can I please ask you to take a photo of for me and Revile? If I had a photo, I'll be sure to remember what happened today whenever I see the picture. I want to remember how the two of you helped us out, and that Revile needs to pay you back when he gets rich. No need to remember that, but if a picture is all you want, that's a piece of cake. Spymon, you're so kind, just like your vibe. Nervous? I'm hardly nervous at all. What's my hair? How do I look? I'm not gonna embarrass myself by leaving some humiliating, something humiliating behind me, am I? Oh. That. Ready? Do you want to pose or something? Irvine mm, might look better sitting, sitting down. What should the background be? Uh, sit in the middle of the long chair, sit in the single chair, sit in the round chair. Wow, well, that's a round chair. I can't really make it out. 
sit in the middle of the long chair. Alright, Inaria will stand beside me. Is that alright? Well, except for your rich expression, everything else looks fine. Well, anyway, that'll be it then. Say cheese. Ah, now I can sit the chair. Yeah, but it's better. Leave them together. Thank you, Venus. Paimon, I'll treasure this photo and remember how much you helped us. And by the way, you remember Paimon's name for a while now. Yes, now I know. Paimon must be as important as Zygna. My as important to Ignus as her values to me. Uh, come on, you're embarrassing me. But I had to thank you for retrieving the tools up for my trade. And now that I can dive again, I'm gonna keep looking for treasure. But I just forget the treasure. No, keep looking. Of course, why would I stop? Being able to find treasure or not aside, if I gave up, I would be giving up on the possibility of ever getting rich. That said, I could probably go find a stable job at Lumidos Harbor, or perhaps be a maid at the Rusty Butter. That's a bit of a stretch. You certainly consider many different career paths. But I would say too many. If that's the case, why don't you go work at the Lumidos Dos and I can be a maid at the Rusty Butter. Two sellers will be hasting a road to great wealth. That seems even more wrong. Why? Uh, anyway, thank you, Inus Paimon. You're good people, just like the Melusins. I hope that next time we meet, I'll already have become wealthy and Nadia will have fully recovered from her injuries. I hope you also uh, you have also found whatever it is that you're looking for too. Okay, so just that, and you will probably bump into them sometime again. Okay, let's delete that. Hmm. Let me check around here. Uh, I think there was a quest around here. Wait, uh, there. Yeah. She's not here anymore. No, she was just waiting for me to talk to her. But is the guy here? No. Maybe they found each other. Well, she knew where he was. Hey, Tito, Tito. The cat and the fiddle, the fish jumped over the moon. You know, catch a black hat. Oh, there. Put some boots. Hmm, there's a book here. No, but I can read that. Dog in a dress, cat in a black hat. Oh, it has a sword too. Uh, doesn't she look like the painter girl? Yeah, I've been looking on the map and avoiding some areas that had question marks on it. Uh, exclamation marks. The little dog left to see such fun and the dish ran away with the spoon. Woof. Someone singing here. Should we say hello? Hello. Uh, should I speak louder? <laughs> Hello? Oh. Okay, alright, I got it. Greetings, friends from afar. Welcome to our party. Please take a seat. Mm, she looks very shy. Did we startle her? Let's tone it down a bit. Let's be careful when we speak. Yeah, Paimon got you. We'll take a... Uh... Wait, Paimon's not seeing any seats. Oof. Meow. 
Oh, it's okay, Nana. It's not necessary. Mr. Quijano is right. We don't need to follow any awful rules. We just need cookies and bones. Are you talking to the puppy? No, not a puppy. This is Lady Nana. Anyway, that's it for the premier speech. Time to raise a toast. I don't see cups either. Let us raise a glass in our minds. Oh, it's flexible no matter how weird the situation is, huh? In that case, let us raise a glass in our heads. Uh, to all the gears, muskets and math books. Meow, woof. Should I meow or woof along? Fine, woof. Woof. What's going on here? Wait, if I move wrong, this hasn't felt right since the start. Can someone translate their wolves and meows, please? Sorry, you're right. As a party host, that was my negligence. I should uh, first introduce myself. Penny is my name. The furry gentleman with the black hat. Here is Don Quijano. Ah, so is it supposed to be more like Don Quixote? No, no, in English it's Quixote. Uh, swashbuckler. Uh, and this is Nana, a particularly elegant and very considerate lady. I don't really know the full story. I don't know if there's supposed to be a Nana in the story. Well, Ip Ip Woof Woof is thanks for saying that, sweetheart. Pleased to meet you. So we could understand now? Am I imagining things? Was the dog speaking? I can't say I've ever seen things like this before, but still. We have, we know a talking cat. And I think I knew another talking animal. But I don't remember which one. That was talk. Ah, there was a talking squirrel in the um, Golden Apple Archipelago. Was a dog speaking? Why are you mumbling? It's our turn to introduce ourselves. This child seems to be talking to imaginary animal friends. Shouldn't we roll with it? No, Lady Nana and Mr. Quihan are not imaginary, and they can speak. Oh, she heard it. Oops, she heard it. Uh, may I tell them a little bit about you, Lady Nana? Just a little, uh, or they won't understand what you say. Oof. Okay, Lady Nana is from the Court of Fontaine. She has a nice surname. Le... Why? Uh, I won't bring that up. Then, good Nana. Sorry to hurt your feelings. I'll just mention the happy part. Nana's best pal is the purple-eyed Autumn. Miss Autumn is a genuine la lady. She changed Nana's outfit many times a day. And I wore different dress to sleep, meals, afternoon teas, balls, walks, and even dates with different accessories. Poor dog. Then the purple eye autumn left home, and I wondered where she... Uh, Nana wandered here with her and became friends with us. Now, would you mind, Mr. Kihano? Uh, okay, I'll just tell them a little bit about you. Sorry, Mr. Kihano is still wanted by the Maison Gardenage to this day, so I can't say much at all. For her own good, of course. Years ago, when Mr. Kihano was adventuring with his buddies, no, that would be Rouge and the blind man Freeman. Ah, that was a guy, a guy there named Freeman. They were pursued by hired hitchmen to Posa. They ran out of everything except the three gooms on their tail. That was when Mr. Kihano charged in and saved them. What was it that you said at the time, Mr. Kihano? Uh, he, I, right, he said, My fine friends, I love you with my heart, but it's time to say goodbye. We'll meet again six feet under. He thought he'd never make it, so he lunged in alone and drove all three bad guys away. 
Well, then he must be a master of the sword. <laughs> you believe it now, don't you? Rouge once said that you have to use your head, not your ears, to truly get what others are saying. If you still don't get it, just close your eyes and listen with your head. The girl's wor words are full of fantasies, but you don't think it will hurt to go with the flow? Keep your eyes closed a bit longer. If you're bored, I'll sing a song for you. Mr. Quijano and Lady Nana often sing it along with me. Hey, diddle, diddle. The cat and the fiddle, the fish jumped over the moon. The little dog left to see such fun, and the dish ran away with, with the spoon. No wonder they are so close to each other. Uh, what would they say? You meditate on that for a while. Uh, in this part, I was not feeling any different, but should we try to speak with the cat and the dog? Well, we did hear them, the dog. Let me just grab that. Uh, have you? You have to use your head, not your ears, to truly get what others are saying. Mm, meow, meow, meow. Uh, what are you saying? He's not stupid. Don't you talk bad about Ignus? You understood that, Paimon? Yeah, he just came to Paimon without any effort. That's probably because you are practically a child. You're getting smarter, bro. What are, are you calling Paimon immature? Oof, oof, it's because she listened from the heart. I can understand now. Hello, friends from afar. How do you know we came from afar? Can you not only speak but tell the future just like Mona too? Friends from afar is common greetings. Uh, friends from afar. Oh. So everything Benny said is true? I did used to live in the Court of Fontaine. Such wonderful memories. Did we just learn how to speak to any animal? I suppose... Ah. Uh, my old friends are still mingling regularly at the Hotel du Bois. Uh, I would often accompany Alton to such stories at the hotel. And oh, how we danced. We wouldn't stop dancing, not even after the band grew tired. Whether or not you believe me, it is a little more than a memory for me now. For now, Alton has found her calling and I have found mine. I wish only for her happiness from the bottom of my heart. And Rouge has accepted me, so in the end, I stay here by choice. She's fully immersed in her memory, huh? Rouge, can you mention the name? Who is he? He's a graceful gentleman. And he's Penny's guardian, as well as our friend. And very fun to be with. Adapted archery and knows a thing or two about swords. An outstanding young man. Don't double in dangerous deeds, Quijano, or you get yourself killed. Worry not, Nana, a gremlin once foretold that I shall not die so easily. A gremlin. Uh, the prophecy says that when, unless I tire of adventuring, a respectable and adorable girl shall appear. And in her, I shall find my purpose for all my remaining days. And I shall dedicate all I, that I have and am to ensuring she never comes to harm. The child is Penny, but how can I best protect her? Were I a knight and not a swashbuckler, I wouldn't know how. Alas, I am not. A knight? You have one right in front of you. Uh, Inus is an honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. Oh my, so I think I should encounter a true knight. And so, pretty admirable, right? Then allow me one presumptuous request. I suppose we have the same idea. Uh, although there is basically nothing we, the legendary adventurer, do Inus and Paimon can do, 
Our time is quite valuable and carries a cost. Why don't we figure out some charging planes when we have time? I be willing to spend all my jewels to hire a uh, knight, so if you could... Please, become friends with Penny. Hmm? Our dear Penny stands at a fork in the road. She knows no whether to grow up or remain a child. Her body is still growing, but, and she grows bigger by the day. She is growing mentally as well, and her heart grows more complicated by the day. Well, what do a cat and a dog know of such strange human things? But it should be easy for a knight. We need to find a knight to be Penny's friend, perhaps then she can find the answer. You are very good, Penny. She's the best child in the world. No one loves her more than I do. Please be Penny's friend. I offer you all my necklaces and setting dresses. Uh, you have my word that I shall protect you with my own life should the need arise. The gems from Liu with traders may be priceless, but Don Kahano's promises are more precious too. How do I become her friend then? You will? I want to be little Penny's friends too. My dear friends, here hands, you are friends from afar no longer. From the moment you asked the question, you became dear friends. This is wonderful, so wonderful, let us tell Penny the good news. Such a formal way to become friends. From the moment you asked the question, you became dear friends. Let's go tell Penny the good news. That's what I was trying to. Penny, my dear, you shall have two new friends. The legendary adventure duo, Inus and Paimon, are willing to be our friends. Really? Awesome. I have so many friends now. Let's have a ceremony to commemorate this. The ceremony requires a speech, but alas, we lack the time to write a proper one. Don't worry, just keep it simple. Very well, then I shall make this brief. Please come forward. This should do. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby declare Penny, friend, friend to the children, Don Quijano, the swashbuckler, and Lady Nana hereby welcome Paimon and... Uh, just a moment, how should I introduce you to? You mean Paimon's title? You can call Paimon the best guy in Tevat. And let's use Honorary Knight of the Knights of Avonius for him. So his other titles are awesome too. If I start a new game and I come all the way here before joining the knights, will this quest not be available? No, no, no. That's not what Mr. Kihano is asking. We need to know who your friends are. Every one of us, cats and dogs, are bound together by the bonds of friendship. A life bare feet of friendship, oh, such a life would be too horrible. So, who are your friends? A deity that oversees the whole, a whole nation? Uh, well, three of them actually now. No, two are retired. Uh, government officials and wealthy people. Ah, okay, they're probably looking more for... Paimo is my best friend. I think there's no really wrong answer, so let's go with the deity. Good, Penny always brings delicious food, so... And so, she's also a deity. The goddess of biscuits and bones. Then, my dear friends, from now on, you shall be... You shall have one more deity friend. Good, in the name of the... The bearings cakes and storybooks, Penny, Paimon and Inus are now good friends. You will share all your bones, biscuits and picture books and say good night to each other before you go to sleep. Playing the mud together, scare birds together and count stars together. Woohoo! Woohoo! Now we're all friends, but wait, the two of you haven't met the children yet. Hmm? Gosh, we almost forgot the children. 
Strange, I haven't seen them all day. The children are friends too. You, sh you should meet them. Uh, you're right. Please go meet the children. Let them know you are their new friends. They probably went somewhere far away to play. It's high time they returned. Go into the water and have a look. Don't worry. Just go underwater. You needn't fret about the children not wanting to come back. I'll sing a song to send them, send you along. The children will come back to sleep in their big shells when they hear my song. So head over to the big shell and wish them sweet dreams. This is getting weird. What song would like to sing, Penny? How about a lullaby? Oh, I love lullabies. I can't talk to you about So big shells for the children. Reverse. Oh. Uh, will be others. Rockabye baby or seaweed up when low combs the cradle will rock. The fish bubble bubble penny singing bubble bubble. So the children penny was talking about her fish. Hello there, where penny is your friends by my ignis? Bubble bubble, new friends, new friends, new friends, sweet dreams, new friends. Sweet dreams, well, they seem happy. Now that we met them, let's go to the next shell. Same breaks, the cradle will fall. I will catch you, cradle them all. Baby's drowsing, cozy fair. I sing lullaby of. Maybe here. The one is closer. Should have started with the one. Bubble bubble can find. Bubble bubble can find. Hello there, we're Penny's new friends. By Moinus. Bubble new friends, old friends can find. Penny singing, Bubble sleepy. They seem to have lost something. Strange. But we should be done here. So let's head over the next shell first. They lost something. Board and back to cradle swings. The baby sleeps. And they hear what she sings. There's nothing here. Where are the children? Uh, there's a Fatu insignia. The children are gone, and there's only a Fatu insignia left inside the shell. Have you tell Penny about this? Insignia, insignia. An insignia marks the owner's identity, it's left here. And no one thought to look for it for a long time. Perhaps the owner didn't care much about didn't care about it very much. Penny, we, we, met, we just met the children underwater. How did it go? Did it become pause? I would call it a friendly enough encounter. We're paused now. Uh, Penny, some of them went missing. We found this in their cradles. Inus, if you would. This is a Fatu insignia. What? You probably don't know about this, but the Fatu are a bunch of very, very bad guys. They might have kidnapped the children. Way to go, Paimon. Scare the child. 
but don't worry, we'll help you since we're friends now. We could ju have just gone, we didn't have to worry her. Bad guys? Are you saying that Carrot is a bad guy? Who's Carrot? Uh, Carrot, poor, what is that? Carrot, after seeing with Penny, I once recommended he try his luck at the Opera Epicles. He does have a nice voice. He would go underwater to play with the children as well. That's right, Carrot is a swimmer most swift. I admire him greatly. So you mean there's a Fatus named Carrot who is Penny's friend and who left this mark behind? I think so. This belongs to Carrot. He's our pal. Really? Maybe we misunderstood? What are Fatui anyway? Much of guys who love to pull dirty trick deeds. Much of guys who see things differently than most people. We know some good Fatui. Some in the Fatui love to use others and do bad things. They've opposed us loads of times. So is Carrot very bad? Does he do a lot of dirty deeds? He can smell scoundrels from a mile away, but Carrot had, had not the stench of ill will about him. But if our dear friends say he may be just such a person... Oh, I understand. Perhaps Carrot was once bad, but has since turned over a new leaf. Uh, there is also the possibility that he is both good and bad. Oh, you're quite correct. One can be both good and bad. Just like a person can enjoy both dainty little cakes and raw seafood. <laughs> uh, raw seafood. Uh, only the worst of the worst eat that kind of things. Come now, Nana. Raw seafood isn't that bad. Wrong. I shall never touch the stuff. Okay, if Fatui didn't kidnap the children, where did they go? Oh, don't worry. The little troublemakers often run off on their own. They'll be back soon enough. Penny, what's on your mind? Why are you zoning out? Zoning out? Good guys and bad guys? This sounds complicated. Like math. Like... What do you get when you add one good guy and one bad guy together? Uh, if one is positive and the other is negative, when you add them both together, you get no guys. Penny spreads her fingers and prowls in deep thought, but to no avail. She takes out a math book and scribbles, again to no avail. Uh, I can't figure this out. I haven't gotten to this part of math yet. I'll ask Alton when she gets back. You must learn from adults like Alton Penny. Adults know the answers to questions like this. We have returned to the old question once again. Does Penny want to grow up or not? Yes, this is the 36th time that we've raised the issue. We have made a list of all the pros and cons of being an adult. Do you have a li the list, Kihano? Uh, friend not, I have long since committed to memory. Con 1. Adults can sleep on velvet cushions. Oh, for adults are hard and sturdy creatures. They must sleep on boards of hardwood so that they can keep their mind and bodies hard. It's awful not being able to sleep on soft cushions. Count 2. Adults aren't allowed to catch butterflies, though I have not the slightest idea why. I know, I remember how Autumn grew up. I began, it began when she starts stepping in puddles as she passed. Then she refused to go barefoot after getting out of bed. She insisted on wearing her leather shoes. And finally, I asked her if she'd like to go catch butterflies together one day. She refused and picked up her textbooks and went into the study. That was the moment she grew up. I saw her become an adult, just like that. That is why I believe that being an adult means you cannot go catch butterflies. Actually, not catching butterflies is fine. There are plenty more things, more fun things to do. Oh, but it's not just these, dear. Out of all those fun things, you must choose only one. 
You can do math when you're busy eating cookies, and it's difficult to eat cake when you're holding a musket. That's rough. Uh, so I can have other stuff like bearings, bows, and arrows, and pretty dresses all at the same time. No, dear, you can't. You can only choose one because humans only live once. Not to mention, Penny, that Pihano and I will no longer be able to keep you company. What? You can grow up with me? How can I be without you? Who is going to lick my face when I wake up? And who is going to tell me bedtime stories? What am I supposed to do? My poor Penny, you know my purpose to love and protect you. I too am sad that I cannot grow up with you. Oh, Paimon doesn't know why, but now she feels like crying too. Don't cry. Growing up is not necessarily a bad thing. Ladies, please do not weep. If I may be earnest, I, I cannot bear the sight of tears. If I could pierce that which makes you weep, I should draw my sword this instant, but I... I cannot bear it. I really can't. I've got to do something. Mr. Knight, let us think of a way to stem their tears. We... We perhaps we can bring the children back and let them sing with Penny and Nana. Surely that will make them happy. Yes, that is exactly what we should do. Come, come over here now. Let's figure out how to get it done. This is all very interesting, but come on, this is so dragged out. I feel so sad, Nana. Don't be sad, Penny. Dear friends, uh, how do you feel about the idea? We just need to find the children and bring them back. Uh, this problem isn't going to solve the real problem. She still has to face growing pains eventually. I know, I know. But since she cannot choose, can we just let her grow up later? Were Penny to grow up just like that, who would scratch under my chin? Who would cuddle me at night as I sleep? No, no. Let us give her more time. As Penny is dear friend, I must put a stop to her tears this very instant and make her smile. The nun's purpose is to love Penny, and mine is to be Penny's knight. I must protect her from harm. Alas, I am I truly am a failure. To think that Penny is crying before my very eyes, if only I were a real knight. Out of curiosity, why do you want to be a knight so badly, Kuihana? It is my calling, friends. Have you never been entrusted with such a noble cause? Rose taxed me with this duty and I took an oath to protect Penny. Don Quijano is one who keeps his word. Now, there is no more time to lose. We must take action now. Sure, Pamela doesn't want her friends to cry either. Come in. Very well, then it's time to get up, children. Listen to me, children, our Penny is facing an unprecedented emotional crisis. We must bring back all the missing troublemakers in order to restore her smile. Then we shall sing together for her and make her happy. And that's what friends do, right? Yes, yes. Honorable Na Ignus, Lady Paimo, this is embarrassing, but... I, Don Quijano, am well versed in both sword and fairy tales, and I am an ingenious gentleman. But I fear I cannot swim. Uh, may I task you with the glorious mission of retrieving the troublemakers from underwater? Sure, maybe a piece of cake. Yeah. Children, uh, help our new friends out there. And don't be naughty. Got it, got it, got it. Follow us, follow us, follow us. Together, together. Don't lose, don't lose. Yeah. He doesn't dodge. Get ahead, you find promo big there. These kids don't feel they reliable, but well, they're kids. We shouldn't paint too many. So closer look around and see what happens, shall we? I'm so sad, Penny. Good nana, good girl. You can keep crying. Ladies, be strong.
stuck in the rocks, stuck in the rocks. How oh, they just got stuck in the rocks. So worried. Seems like from a mixed track among the rocks. Let's stretch break the rocks and rescue them. I think this was supposed to be Paimon, not the children. I think there should be someone closer to than that. Out, out, we are out. Thank you, friends. Thank you. We'll keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Oh, there's more. Bring brings the philosophical name, Finn Gentleman, the hat. Just follow the children from King some convenient nicknames. Main ahead, I'm Lady Scourge, Mr. Hand and Mrs. Scourge. That's what I was gonna call them. Uh, when you say, oh, she's gonna forgotten. So the children are all young fish. They sure can swing though, despite their small size. So, uh, where. I can sing along with everyone again. Sing together and together we sing. Am I supposed to continue following them? But what about this? What was the point? Sing along, sing to the waves, sing to the seaweed, sing to your friend, butterfly, butterfly, where do you fly? I know not, I ask not. Come on, I was following them. Found it, found it, found it. Those little troublemakers are competing again. Whoever catches them wins. Okay. You mean the swarms of fast swimming blue fish there? Are the children we need to bring back? Yes, yes. Uh, catch up to them and tell them. I caught you, I caught you, I caught you. Looks like Mr. Cat Hatter was right. They really are a bunch of mischievous kids. Go on. <laughs> uh, not a half place to lie. Ciao, ciao. Where goes you? Yes, the for which we caught. But what fun, let's play again next time. You know, the shore is slippery. Walk uh, the first as they swing. There's more. There's more. Oh, what fun, let's play again next time. Get out and go home. Your friend Penny needs you. Penny's looking for us. Home, home, let's go home. Where's the. There. More. Straight. 
cast, card cast, shield the response. So seal it, sing a new frame, butterfly, butterfly, wait, shall we go? Butterfly, butterfly, let's soar through the air. It's really hard to read and swim at the same time. Where the sun shines, where the foot grows. At least this time is nothing really important. It's just filler text that they intentionally live in a way that you will miss. So it's just lost work for the writers. Come on. I was following you guys. Don't be scared, pain is waiting, pain is looking for us, home home, let's go home quickly. Uh, right, let's go for Spenny, Mr. Hatch. We're done. I mark this on the map. Yeah, it's another one of those. Then there's an announcement. Ah, it's one of those guys. A clear bottle with no that contains writing of someone named Freeman and a strange drawing on the back. Ah, that's where I was. He was once wrongly accused and, as he was about to be thrown into prison, saved by the selfless members of the press. Thanks to the honorable lady's argument, Freeman was freed. As his benefactor of phrases said, Truth is always marching onward and nothing can stop it. He has been continuing and waiting, waiting for those who will carry his ideas. If you have read this far, friends, are you willing to believe in justice and hope? If so, if you share those ideas, please light a flame. Of the four flames, only that which is set upon the land is the flame of hope. Light it to receive a token of Freeman's gratitude. Okay, I think I'll try to speak to Freeman before I'm getting lighting that up. Well now let's check up on Penny. back everyone uh, all the children are back as well yes the honorable angels and lady paimon too they have all returned we're here we're here we're here penny's not crying anymore i still sad penny i've stopped crying for a while now nana leaks all my tears away thank you good nana you too Pihano, angels and paimon my pleasure penny it is my calling to love you after all uh, i knew it I knew our Penny would be strong enough and would never keep crying. Actually, I'm not that strong. I'm still a little scared and want to cry a little. Uh, it's okay, don't be afraid. Let's sing. And let's all swim and sing, Penny. Great idea, my friends. Sadness and sorrow have been conquered and so we shall raise our voices in glorious song. 
Come here, new friends. Board the waves back and she will carry you. Don't worry, friends. We'll follow you on the shore. Enter the wave. Sing, friends. Sing. I will sing with you. Sing along, sing along, come and sing a song. Cruise the sword, autumn's handkerchief, Premium Scanis, Carex Ballad. And no swings with me, my most sings me to sleep. We won't forget, forget the time spent so fine. Swim ahead, swim along, swim, swim along. Will they be forgotten in the blink of an eye? Those times we spent so fine. The bedtime tales, the promise we made, the anticipation we had forgotten. Allah, forget it all. Swim on, fly on, swim, swim, fly. Hey, they crossed the, the water. Swing on, fly on. And that's a great song. I'm not scared now. It's fine to grow up. Nothing to it. That was a great swim. No effort needed on your, our part. So getting shot out of the water by Big Head at the end was plain spooky. I'd like to do it again. Praying, seeing you all smile together makes me most happy indeed. I realized something big. It must. I must tell real. Rouge um, about this the next time I see him. I'm the sh Shadow Rouge casts, and it is my honor to accompany you, my lady. Oh, and another thing when Autumn comes back from the Court of Fontaine, I must tell her about you too, in the Uh Are you in this Autumn clothes, Penny? Autumn's very nice to me. She left Nana behind to watch over me. They are my favor absolute favorites. I am the fragrance that Autumn left behind. In your smile is my bliss, my dear sweetheart. Tom. Huh? Did you hear that? Did something just go Tom? Yes, I heard it too. And did you notice? There's something shiny in Penny Penny's eye. Uh, what is that? Is a light of curiosity, which illuminates every dark corner, my dear. And some glistering teardrops making you all the more gentle. You have already grown up with your, our blessing, my good child. Wait, we haven't given Penny our blessings? Is she a grown up already? Oh, Inus, let's give Penny our blessings. May uh, you always have a good appetite. Uh, oh, he's saying, I'm a traveler, so may you always have the courage to explore the world. Explore the world. I've decided. What did you decide, Penny? I was going to become a grown up in Court of Fontaine, but now I've changed my mind. I want to travel just like Ines. You may want to be an adventurer, Penny. Yes, Ines and Pai more adventurers. And I want to travel like them, I have to be an adventurer too. If you want to be an adventurer, Penny, you have to get the Adventurer's Guild's approval first. And that is a very hard thing to do, not to mention how the life of an adventurer is pretty tough. So are you sure that's what you want? It's okay, I won't give it a try. In that case, I'll write a recommendation for you as your rite of passage gift, Penny. You borrow pen and paper from Penny and write a simple introduction letter. Wonderful, thank you. I love it. Come on, give everyone a gift too. Please get around. Penny skips and kisses Mr. Hat, Miss Skirt, and the for on the forehead with a smile. Then she kisses Paimon on the cheek before you bend over. Penny kisses your forehead with joy and you almost feel her anticipation and unease about the future. 
uh, there is most beloved friends of mine I am adults now and I'm going to be an adventurer that was really weird so can we talk to animals now or Should be here some other day. Ah, that kept here. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know where is it. There. Yeah. Mm, should be closer to teleport. Let's speak to that Freeman. Well, uh, I got the last page of the mysterious book today, but. That could end up being a long quest, so I don't think I'll go there today. Let's speak to the people here. Shambalange. Hey boss, new navigator. I'm your man. No, uh, your navigator here. I am, or was rather. Uh, here you go. Uh, or was rather, the best navigator in Lumidos Harbor. I know this water is like the back of my hand. I can help you bring in even a tiny raft into the harbor without capsizing. You used to be. Uh, I say the future of those working in Lumidos Harbor isn't very bright. It's practically a black hole for career progression. And the pay is lousy. It's better to strike out on your own. Buzz, if you hire me, I, I could help you make some connections. I know Chaucer Verge and... And with his protection, there ain't nobody in the world who would dare lay a finger on your cargo. Why don't you think it over? If you ever decide to hire me, you know where to find me. Sure, if I ever need somebody <laughs> like this then. Okay. The ball. Finally, the job's done. The full Brack can't even do his job properly. What's up with Brack? Oh, he does like often try to make quick profit through shady dealings. Last time he got duped into buying and reselling dry bull fruit and ended up falling into serious debt. Now he's got creditors hounding him day in and day out. Even with things being as bad as they've gotten, he still won't consider taking up honest work to pay off his debt. Instead, he keeps going on about pulling off some major deal and hitting it big. He should have known that what he was getting into. He originally wanted me to go in on the loan with him. But like him, I'm no fool. So we turned him down. Of course, I have my own business to attend to. I run perfectly legitimate business here. Do you know Fonta? I know a few people who are planning to replicate it and create a unique beverage of their own. Once they perfected the recipe, I'll facilitate getting the drink into the port for people to sample and then handle the additional promotion. Why choose the harbor for your first market? There are plenty of people coming in and out of Lumidos Harbor, including quite a few first time visitors to Fontaine. I want this beverage to give them a positive first impression of this place. If we acquaint enough people with our knockoff, who cares about Fonta? Our drink will be the most popular in all Fontaine. Their business is... What? I'm running a legi legitimate business here. I don't steal, I don't rob, and I sure don't dupe others out of their fortune. I work hard and I've earned everything I have through sweat and toil. There aren't many honest folks like me these days who earn their living through bloody sweat and tears. Why, if everyone in Corte Fontaine was like me, fairness and justice would prevail in all business things. <laughs> Tears of justice. Uh, show no. What are you doing? If it's dropping on me, 
beat it. I didn't even hear what you said. The last time some punk stole my exclusive scoop. Devil was going to name me a whole lot more. Once I catch him, I'll make sure to send him to Fortress Merpit. Doesn't matter. I already have something new. And this one's gonna belong to me and me alone, for sure. You really care about exclusives? Exclusives mean big payouts. You, you're you not on in our line, our line of work, are you? As long as I'm the only one with the scoop, I can negotiate and sell it to the highest bidder. There were even some media folk who came to find me, hoping to buy, it, buy out my info. They said something about how you would tarnish the reputation and cause trouble if it got published. And what did you do? Uh, I made a handsome profit of it, and uh, that's for sure, but I'm not totally without moral scruples. Once someone buys a story from me, I won't turn around and try to sell it to someone else under a different name. Alright, I've talked enough. I need to think about how to make this report connect with more readers. Tila? This one is quite lovely, would like some my treat. You are? Oh, excuse me, let me introduce myself. I'm Tila, a humble messenger. It's a pleasure to meet you. You seem to be a trust as trustworthy as you've been made out to be. Do you know me? How could I not have heard of you? Your deeds are quite renowned in these parts. Several of my colleagues are preparing to extend an invitation to you for a friendly meeting and are looking forward to reaching some, shall we say, mutually beneficial arrangements with you. What kind of arrangements? Oh, what else could our business be? Making more, getting some perks, and lining our pockets. In any case, one sh shouldn't waste their life doing that, doing nothing. Uh, if you're interested, I'd be honored. Once I've drafted up an agreement, I'll pick a suitable time to visit you. I think this may be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. No, let's go again. What does a messenger do? Never mind, don't worry about it. It's just a hundred job that helps people take a lot of their minds. If someone needs help, we help them find it. If someone needs a, to convey a message, we help them without that, with that too. This job is no different from being a fisherman, a chef, a tailor, or a porter. I'd even venture to say that in some ways being a messenger is far more beneficial to the public good. I don't think there'll, there'll be any chance for us to collaborate. Don't say that. Who knows what will happen in the future, please take this as a small token of my appreciation. Have a nice day today and tomorrow as well. Just money like that. Okay, listen here. Oh, you're sorry. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that. Now, what would like? What have you heard? You caught that. Uh, fine, it's not important anyway. Just stuff you hear every day in this tavern. Like, some people are willing to pay a lot more to hire some help, while others want to sell certain goods quickly. Of course, a big shot like you is often mentioned by guests. But don't you worry. I'm not one to go around telling others your business. After all, if you want uh, the details from me, then you have to, well, you know. Wait, have you heard anything about me? Oh, there have been plenty of stories about you. Your adventures, your the enemies you defeated, the treasures you've obtained, the titles you've earned. Heck, if I know how true they are, perhaps they're nothing more than drunken ramblings. However, if you are interested in these rumors, or if you want to hear some other stories from me, well, you know, how much more? Mora, that's okay too. But if you're using Mora, you need to buy uh, more good wine. After all, the information possessed is very valuable. I could sell it for a small fortune. However, if you really want to buy good wine, then please speak with the houseman. I'll be in trouble if I handle more. If your information is so valuable, why not work for yourself? I'm afraid of trouble, and working in this tavern is great. Really great. It's safe, comfortable, and there are even free drinks. But most importantly, as long as I'm here and no one will dare, no one will dare come bother me, 
and I won't be forced to go bother anyone else. Anyway, if you really want to buy good wine, then please go talk to the helmsman. Uh, do you work here? That's right, I'm a waitress, uh, I mean, the chief mate. So, it's kind of the same job as a waitress. The reason for us for using titles like this is because Mr. Pito said it would help with navigating the waves of the business world. Uh, he said himself that a client from Liyue taught him how to pray for luck by giving us people's names like this. But I reckon that he didn't quite grasp what they were trying to teach him. Uh, Freeman. The blind. I have no plans for you, my child. You are free to pursue what you like. Tell me a bit about yourself. I mean, that's about Penny. Me? Just nobody. Don't worry about me. Come have a drink. Regardless of what brought you here, surely it's worth having a drink to celebrate our meeting on the ship. To celebrate being able to see the sky and the sea every day. You can see it. To see truly wonderful things, you must look with your mind, not your eyes. Drunk talk, my child. Believe me. Try looking from this angle, and you might just see things differently. differently. I have no place for you, my child. About Penny. Ah, young Penny. She must truly... Uh, she must trust you quite a bit, if she's willing to introduce you to her animal friends. What were they called again? Don Quijano? Yeah, that's the name of the... <laughs> The Ricks of Rouge, uh, like Swordsman. That target strapped cat is really something. Uh, when those enemies chase us all the way to Poisson, jumping out like some kind of great hero, scratching their faces to ribbons, uh, such a brave, loyal cat. And. Nana? Oh, yeah, I remember, that's the name of Autumn's dog. This dog's too delicate. Grew up in the city, after all. He's not used to life in the wild. I was shocked the first time I heard Autumn say she liked to pick out clothes and necklaces for the dog when she was young. So rich that even the dog wears necklaces. When she was. How old do dogs live in this world? Cement. Proceed according to the plane. The instructions were clear, and the message received should be the same as mine. What were the orders received? Let's double check. I don't want trouble. We'll each follow the instructions, do the job, and then leave with the motor. It's your spirit at sea or land side. What did I just say? No chit chat. I don't want to end up sleeping with the fishes. Please, for all I know, your order may be just to slap some cement shows on me and toss me in the harbor. You stop asking questions. You won't have anything to worry about. Okay, shouty. I can drink more, boss. I mean, captain. Uh, chief mate, second mate. Where's the booze? Alright. Who are you? Born on view is no good. I want Verdran. Where. I got it. You are all here. Uh, come on, give it a sip. You stay away from me. <laughs> Stop acting so weird. Uh, who are you? No, dr not drinking with me. Fine by me. I'll drink alone. Why isn't my wine here yet? What are you doing? Can't you say I'm drinking? I'm rather, I'm rather not join. At least not for now. Okay, this guy seems more important. Seems to be the chief. Uh, second mage, premium chat. Okay, this looks like a quest. Is it a quest? This is marked as a quest in the map. One moment, please. Would you like to hear a secret about the treasure? What secret? It has to do with the treasure and the key to opening the gate. How does that sound? Interested? What? One gate. You're not asking me to find monsters again, are you? 
again, do we know? We don't know her. Do we know her? Not asking me to find someone or something for you again. For you again. Who is she? I don't remember her. I don't remember her. Her midget. Finding monsters again? Of course not. We wouldn't dream of asking tavern guests to run errands. Who is she? See this novel surely by my side and the rubble it's pointed at. Activate the cannon and blow up those rocks and any treasure you uncover is yours for the taking. Who on the on the van named the cannon? The Hammersman did it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure myself where he acquired it. Out of it, what parts are missing? Out of it, how is it powered? I think you'll be misinformed, friend. The cannon is entirely intact and fully powered. I tend to it every day. But before I activate the cannon, I would like you to ask to answer several questions. Huh? It's per re the request from Helmsman. He called it a good source of amusement for the guests of the tavern. Something to slow down their drinking and keep them here longer. I'm not sure about this, but that's away. Question one. Uh, how many tables are there in the rusty rudder? Question two. How many employees do we have at the rusty rudder? Does the boss the boss don't, don't count as employer uh, employee? Right. He works here, but he doesn't count as employee. Uh, what is not served at the rusty rudder? Nothing served here. I I can buy Fonta. Uh, okay, I didn't talk to that guy. Uh, that's it. You only need to answer these three questions correctly to activate the cannon, blow up the rubble, and get the treasure. What will happen after I get the treasure? After that, I'll find the right time to place another suitable prize in the cave and seal it with rubble. The treasure is waiting to be claimed once the next guest activates the trillery. That's a lot of work for you. Talk about a horrible boss. That's all. You may look for the answers now. Meanwhile, I'll stay here and wait for you. What was the second? How many people? <laughs> Tables? Just one. Uh, but does this one count as well? Yeah, they're drinking. Okay, so two. Uh, two employees. I wouldn't count the boss as employee, even though he works here. And what do you sell? Welcome to the Rusty Rudder. Well, this is also a table, but not for serving people. Choose anything you want. Let's see what you got. Take a pig, though. You may have offered if you want to buy a good wine. Okay, uh, Laney, can I make those? Uh, this place is, as you can see, this is a bit of a dingy tavern. I'm the helmsman here, but you can call me boss, whatever you want. You just tell me what you want to drink, and I'll do my best to either make it myself or find it for you. Of course, if you really want me to help find some new goods which aren't on the shelves, then you have to pay a little more. I need to pay extra more. More? Huh. If you're only paying more, then I can only sell you what's on the shelves. And most, and most you could have some good wine. For things that aren't on the shelves, you need to trade something that's not on, in your wallet. What do you mean? And don't worry about it, just choose what you want to drink. Why are you wearing dive suit? I've called this here tavern the Rust Rudder, and as the helmsman, I naturally had to dress accordingly. What's more, it makes it easier for me to dive into the water and fish out any drunk guests who fall in. If they insist on drowning, then let them at least drown in booze, otherwise it'd be bad for my tavern's reputation. Alright. Found the answers. How many? Two? Okay, okay. Uh, we're ready. Let's so first question. There are two. 
I'm sorry to break you, but that's the wrong answer. Are we counting that one? There are three. Or was there another one that I missed? Oh, I didn't talk to that guy. Uh. Uh, correct, we step close to activating the cannon. Correct. How many employees? One or three. Okay, so I am your employee. Uh, three. Correct. Okay, so I guess you're counting the boss. Or there's somebody else there that works here that I didn't realize. What's up, close to activating the cannon? What's up? Not search. Cheese, milk, or maritime flour. Oh, correct. Congratulations, you may activate the cannon. Hold on a second, let me cover my ears first. Oh, thank you. Ah, there's a teleport there. Congratulations, where, where is she? What about the uh, torches? Ah, <laughs> uh, break. Uh, I was forced to do this in order to make a living. My hands are tied. What are you talking about? You scare me. I thought it was another creditor coming for me. I'm thinking of starting a new business. If this deal goes through, I'll be seeing a top of gold mine. I'll have enough more to leave the Court of Fontaine and start a new. Uh, but the court is dead ball. Uh, he deserves to be poor. He couldn't hold on to more, even if you hand it to him on a silver plate. Leave, but what about your creditors? They really took me for a ride with this loan. When I borrowed the sum, I had no idea they'd come up so many terms and charged me interest that was sky high. If I were uh, if I were only expected to pay back the principal, I wouldn't exactly be overjoyed, but I could accept it. But now they're telling me that the interest ha alone has grown three times the principal. If they think I'm gonna pay that, they're delusional. I was hoodwinked. Uh, this was never my debt to begin with. Then why did you borrow more in the first place? I was there in need of more for my business at the time, but no one was willing to lend me a cent. I had no choice but to approach a bunch of crooks for a small loan. Uh, it didn't matter now anyway. It doesn't matter now anyway. Once I get my hands on that thing and send it out, all this will be settled. You know, there was another there. So, what exactly is this business? Well, I can't tell you, unless you're willing to join me. I can give you a little hint though. It was a deal with a prominent merchant from Chesnaya. He struck the deal with, the, with me personally. <laughs> I can keep drinking! Uh, what's up with the Freeman's? Treasure. Didn't have to light some torches. Ah, this wasn't locked. Not convenient. Through the map, I can't quite see what else. Mm, I want to stop soon. Uh, let me check that. That thing. Uh, 
I don't remember where I got that. The easel on the white and the the narwhal. Oh, roots is the first one I and the second one I found. Remains Atos. Yeah, that's the one I found already. I mean, oh, this was from the quest. Recent glory. Oh, okay, this was from the quest. Okay. The event. So. Oh, the four, four flames. Only that which is set upon the land is the flame of hope. Light is to receive a token of Freeman's. Okay. Uh, this is not on land. This is on land. Uh, there must be another one. Besides that one. A four. there's another one I don't think it's late otherwise I think you have called my attention um, let's try that uh. yeah let's go on a big adventure <laughs> that Um, all right, let's just check this cave and then end it here. Uh, no, maybe there's another place to check. No, no, let's just check here. I don't think there'll be any quests here. Hmm, this could be a fishing spot. Jump. The one's ready. Who should be? Exit. Oh, where is the third one? I do see the third one. Uh, this one won't leave here. Oh. Uh. Come on. 
Aren't you supposed to move? Uh... Surprise! Truly an extra slice of joy! Alright. Mm. Uh, 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 okay, let me just... I hope this won't lead me anywhere. But I passed by here. And I didn't enter because... This isn't marked, at least it wasn't marked on the world map. But there's that here, there wasn't before. And I, I think this is just... Ah, uh, maybe this is just the exit to Narcissus and Cross. Oh, yes. Ah, okay. It brings me back here. Okay, I didn't remember that. It's just that I was looking on the map and it didn't appear. So I wasn't sure. Uh, but okay. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think I'll stop here. Let's try to get a sign on. Nope. Oh, I got a couple. No. No. Alright. And now I'm out. Uh, if there is a new event, I'll probably continue those word quests next time. 